Enemies been on a mission Fuck them, I'ma do the most See them multiply I am on my way to the train station Hi, nice to meet you, have a safe trip Oh, so sweet I just met the most incredible lady at the hostel I was living in so she just sent me a text I just left right now like I left like two minutes ago and she sent me this text she's so sweet we had a really we had a really great conversation she was born in Spain grew up in France lives in lived in Australia she moved to Australia in 1969 so you know she's pretty old but she doesn't even look it and then she she hasn't been in Australia for more than a month ever since 2000 and seven she's brilliant i love her no that's a strong word for somebody just not for 10 minutes <laughs> i think she's really cool but anyway yeah i'm going to the train station the weather is chilled but you can still see her it might rain any second i'm going to the train station i'm gonna go to hong kong today um yeah i'm just chilling like i spent the day i had i spent the morning in today because i was so tired my back was aching from carrying this bag all over so yeah i'm just gonna have another chill day that i'm just gonna i'm trying to get to Hong Kong as early as possible because as I keep saying I don't want to be traveling If I can call it that. Yeah, so I've already gone past the Hong Kong side of customs, of immigration, sorry, and now I'm heading towards customs. So I'm technically already in Hong Kong. So I thought I would have had to take the bus. Like all along, I've been budgeting for the bus. But there's a train now. I don't know if it's always been there, but the last time I was here, we took the subway, we took the, the bus. Okay, the subway is here. I have my map. What's stressing me is that I wanted to switch my phone settings to roaming so that I'm not stranded in Hong Kong, but I can't figure out how to do it and I'm scared that. I'm gonna lose my, my connection pretty soon, so yeah, let me get myself sorted out and then I'll speak to you guys in a moment. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the goal for tonight. Yeah. Um, yeah, so at each bar you get a free shot and it's also $40 for two beers, $30 for a cocktail. So yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, yeah, let's go get a drink. I think that's, yeah, yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right. Are you, are you a blogger? I try. I have you like try? 800 subscribers. Ooh, Does that count? Um, <laughs> that was pretty good. Like, uh, you can like quite pick up. Yeah, I mean, you, you have more people. Yeah, um, hopefully. I want to know your account. You can just yeah. post your video yeah, up, to, uh, <laughs> up to the Hong Kong Pop Pro page and then they can forward All it right. out to everyone. I'll do that. Uh, okay, so since the last time you saw me, I made a new friend. Hi. Her name is Tihana. Tihana, Tihana from yeah. Japan, but she. I study in Canada. She studies in Canada. And I'm here for just the traveling. Yeah, and yeah. she was in Shanghai just the other day. Yeah. So yeah. And I was just gonna like go out and grab something to eat, and then I was in a, um, the hostel where I'm living. 
they have this pub crawl it's basically like club hop no not club hopping but like bar hopping so we're doing four bars in a club right yeah four bars in a club so that's what we're gonna do today we have tags and everything so it's turn up season it's four of us he's from taiwan nah, I'm oh there'll be two more of us yeah, from the so, yeah. so i'll catch you guys along the way i'll try and do my best at vlogging but i can't promise anything because mm, so see you bye Western Union because I didn't have time to tell you this yesterday but I forgot my card I don't forget my okay I did forget my card but to be fair I had the chance to go back and get my card and I didn't and this just proves that laziness is expensive I wish I knew how to say that in another language but yeah I don't so basically <clears throat> you know how i always tell you guys i don't know if i tell you guys this but like in china as in mainland china everything is cashless like you don't need cash to go anywhere you have wechat pay alipay so i think it's now starting in south africa i've been seeing a wave of it i think it's capitec bank they're doing something similar so we don't carry cash in china so i i forgot my card but i knew i was gonna come to hong kong so i knew that was that might have been a problem Uh, I'm lost yeah I knew it might have been a problem but then I was already in the subway heading to the airport and then I just yeah I decided to just leave so 
as you would expect i got to hong kong i had cash like i made sure i would draw cash in in china and i changed it at the at the subway station but it still wasn't enough so i ran out of cash yesterday was so inconvenient like i had to be fortunately i met chihana and she's been so helpful but still you know when you don't have your own money it's a great inconvenience so anyway i had to ask my brother to send me money from bots which is such a waste of money i know but yeah that was the only way so he sent it and i'm going to fetch it now which is why i'm out this early for somebody who was out last night i want to tell you guys about last night but let me get to the western union first changes in my life i won't leave you behind changes in my life well the western union doesn't have cash yet so i have to go back in an hour's time so i'll go back to the hostel have breakfast and then i'll try again at 11 a.m so i wanted to tell you guys about yesterday oh my god i think first of all it was a really good experience so i don't even feel like i wasted money i think i bought experience because being the socially anxious person that i am i have the worst kind of social anxiety so it was really cool to meet complete strangers like people that i just met literally minutes ago and have a good time with them you know and yeah i think for anybody who's socially anxious actually for anybody at all uh, the biggest challenge with new people and socializing is if they know each other and you don't know them you know you're the like you're like you're like the new one in the group that's very uncomfortable then the fact that we all didn't know each other all of us were like solo traveling so it was a really good experience like all of us were so different one guy was from barcelona spain another girl was from japan but she's also partly chinese like her mom is chinese but she's been in japan all her life and she's she like she was born in japan but then she schools in canada the other girl was also half canadian half malaysian something like that no that's not true oh korean half canadian half korean and then who else was there who else was there we had a taiwanese guy um australian guy so i'm trying to look for another western union as i walk but no luck i mean so yeah guys like it was really cool it was really cool just that i don't know this is one of the 1000 reasons i hate the club let me just actually tell you guys why i hate the club okay i hate the club because first of all you can't even have a decent conversation with somebody unless you're outside the club so then what's the point of going to the club if you're not going to be inside the club you could have gone anywhere else you know and the other thing is um like you can't have a conversation so the only thing you can do in a club is dance but then if you're not naturally a very free and happy person you can't dance unless you're drunk and then if you don't like alcohol you find yourself taking alcohol against your own will or then being the very boring person who's just in their own corner not drinking not doing anything being boring so i don't like the club at all i just went yesterday because you know i'm here and yeah it's just the once in a while thing but man i don't know how people do it yeah i'm gonna go back and eat i'm trying not to get discouraged by this western union thing so i'm gonna go back and eat and i want to get beat today and look nice and summery and explore the city take pictures i want to go to curry bay uh, I also promised three people Look at me. I promised three people that I'd hang out with them today So you wouldn't imagine I traveled alone. I already have so many appointments, but anyway, let's see how today turns out So let's go eat You actually get to make your own food So I made an egg with soy sauce I don't know if you guys can see I'm having a slice of bread and I have coffee over there They just put everything for you right here. These eggs Tea and stuff. It's not particularly clean, but my makeup sucks because I literally have five things to work with to do my face. That's a valid excuse, right? I actually wanted to show you guys a backpacker's makeup routine because I literally have my eyebrow pencil, 
my concealer, foundation, and a brush. That's it. That's all I have to work with. So I think I've done a pretty good job for somebody who's working with so little. Sometimes I really want to understand how people cannot believe there's a God. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just had one of the most trying situations, right? Okay, so yesterday I went to, because I know how Western Union can get stressful and hectic, so I went to the Western Union office down the road from where I live, and I got the slip to see what requirements they, they have, right? And I sent, all of those, I sent all of those details to my brother. But I always forget this one detail. They'll always ask you, how much did the person send? Guys, I had no clue. Gore, I had no clue. <laughs> Wait, say, I literally just said, okay, you know what? God, help me. I'm going to guess. I'm going to put a random figure. I'm literally just going to wing this and just help me out of the situation because I need this money and I need it now. Because the thing is, I owe Chihana because she helped me out yesterday. And I just need money. Like, I need money. Not having money is the most frustrating thing ever. I literally just guessed and I put a figure. Behold, it was right. Like, I'm so happy. And I prayed and God heard me. So, guys, God wants it. God is alive. You have to believe it. Also, if you, even if you don't believe it, he's still alive. So, same difference. Yesterday. Can I, put you, can I put you in my vlog? Okay. It's gonna be on YouTube. You can, what's your name? Uh, Theodore. Theodore. He's from France. Yeah. I just met him now and he's like incredible. Like everybody's just so amazing. <laughs> he's traveling as well. He's gonna be here for a week. So I just thought I should let him say hi. Hey, I have my dashiki. Do you know the dashiki or not? Really? I have my dashiki in oh, my Oh, he has a dashiki. Bag. He's dirty right now. So <laughs> That's so I cool. Where it. did you buy it? A friend of mine from Bena. Oh, uh, bring yeah. Bring it for me. Right. So nice, it's yellow like this color. So yeah. when I have it, everyone in the street just wow. looking at you, right? <laughs> <But> <laughs> that's nah, super cool. Know. All right, so we're going to Curry Bay. I hope that's how you pronounce it. But first, we're gonna go to 7-Eleven. He's gonna get a SIM card. I was thinking of getting it, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because I'm leaving tomorrow. But then, how are we gonna get around? Like, what if? How do you usually like find your way around? Um, I downloaded offline map. All oh, right. Okay. 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 So, I should probably do that, yeah. Alright, then I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye! Like, water in Hong Kong is so expensive. It hurts. It actually hurts buying water in Hong Kong. Because water in China is too high. One cry, and it's eight times the price here. Yeah. Four times the price. Yeah. So we found it and these. This one is not as colorful as I'd hoped it would be. It is pretty high. We've got all our pictures, but it's just so hot. Yeah. So we're just trying to keep it moving. We're gonna try to find the more colorful ones <laughs> and then take more pictures. bottle of water I'm getting in 30 minutes. It's that hot. This is so good right now, especially that it's so hot. If I put this on Twitter, I know they're going to say I have a lecture to school. But anyway, we're in Quarry Park. I hope that's how it's pronounced, honestly. Not some of these words. I would honestly say Quarry Park. I don't know about the name Quarry Park. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty. It's like green and everything. <sighs> the heat, guys, the heat. Guys, it's so hot. I don't know how long I can keep up with the vlogging. I 
here it's just like too hot it's too 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 hot so i'm probably gonna stop soon and then i'm gonna meet up with somebody in a bit a girl from south africa so i'll vlog a little bit of that probably we're gonna have lunch together after that i don't know yeah i really don't know i might go to victoria pick up been there before but i might go again Honestly, if you're going to be in Hong Kong for more than a day, I would really suggest that you buy the SIM card because I am having the hardest time right now. Like, I can't go anywhere. I need maps for everything. And I did try downloading the Google Maps offline thingy, but I don't know how. I don't know. It's just not very efficient because thing is, when I have... Fish. Yeah, guys, guys. When I have wi-fi or whatever i can always see like what's around me where i can possibly go but now i'm stuck it's so frustrating i don't even know where i am right now it's just after actually it's just a few minutes before six that's why there's so much traffic because it's a friday and i guess people are knocking off and i'm only not going to meet um denise she should be just around the corner according to maps so yeah that's what's <laughs> vlogging is so hard in the heat and it's so hot guys i love how hong kong has all these really tall apartment buildings with a splash of color it's just so beautiful okay let me just check maps to make sure i am walking in the right direction Ooh. Today I've really been just living. I think she's on the street for sure. I've just been doing like trial and error today, guys. It's so difficult not having Wi Fi or data because then you can't really use your maps. But I think she's somewhere here. Yeah, she sent me a picture from somewhere here. She has to be somewhere here. That's how you say it, right? Yeah. She gets it. Like, you guys can tell she gets it. I was trying to vlog today and I've been telling the people that I'm going to catch up with you. So, there she is. <laughs> I couldn't even vlog while we were there because we started talking. Like, we're old friends. I hope they let me vlog. Why does it look like there's like reservations? I literally, we literally came here the other time and there wasn't any like reservations. Let's see. Can I graduation lunch here? Yeah, and look at the view. It's so beautiful, I know. <laughs> but the problem is, you can't. Thank you. Thank you. But you want to do it. She's pretty. Oh my god, guys. Never in my life.
of the mag, so naturally I had to step in. And do they have anything for like people of color here? Do they have what? Foundation for like no, no. they never have my like, oh. What's new? Pixie spray. Pixie Pixie spray. spray. I should get that too. Two one zero. Pixie spray. <laughs> I needed it. She also got one. <laughs> so pretty. What is this place called? Oh, that's the building you're talking about. Yeah, it's exactly what about this. So, what is this place called? Um, this is TST Promenade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. Oh, 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 so I want February? you guys to listen to what did I just teach you? What did I just teach you? How do you say uh, your name? Come on, don't say your name. Come on, don't say your name. Tumela. 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 What does it mean? Beautiful. No, no, no. Hi. Yeah. 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 And what else? And then, uh, go, 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 go. How do you say you're beautiful? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I remember. Oh, moon clay. Oh, oh, moon clay. Okay, and how do you say? See? She beat you, like she remembers. How about you? Kula Gulata. Chakarata. Kula Gulata. And they wish 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 on me. Hey guys, so I realized I didn't really conclude the vlog and it has to end somewhere because I'm so tired of vlogging now. So yeah, Hong Kong was lovely. It was amazing. I would do it all over again. Uh, what did I want to tell you guys? I think I've never backpacked ever in my life and I used to, you know, actually... Never in your life discredit something unless you've tried it. People used to tell me all sorts of stuff about like backpacking, like you won't be comfortable, it's not worth it, um, too many people in one room, yada, 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 yada. And although all of that is true, I still think the advantages outweigh the disadvantages because I did travel alone with the hope of meeting people. I just didn't know how I'd meet people. And it happened so instantly. Like when I got to the backpack, when I got to Pandora after 80s, um, I hadn't even put my bags down. And I just saw this girl and she was so happy. And she was so like, you know, happy. No, she wasn't happy. She wasn't particularly jolly, but she was just very friendly. Um, and she was like, she's going out. So if I want to come, it's 100 bucks, blah, blah, blah. And she helped me so much because I had that money thing I told you guys about. She was super helpful with that too. And after that, I just met everybody else. And there was also like Denise from Mozambique, who I met on Instagram. But yeah, I actually met Denise. Like Denise says she followed me because of the Twitter thingy, my baby. So I know a lot of you guys are actually um, subscribed from the Twitter. I don't know what to call it. I just posted a picture of me and Ilya on our third anniversary and people retweeted it over and over and over again and a lot of people found me on instagram and on youtube through that tweet so if you're here from that tweet thank you for, thank you for coming thank you for ending up here i truly 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 appreciate it so yeah and you guys asked that i do like a video with him he's currently not in the country so i'm not sure about that but i will explore the idea as soon as he's back mm, so yeah that's that so I had a really good time, honestly, and I, I can't complain. It was lovely. It was a spiritual exercise because uh, I got over my fear. Uh, I also feel like I function best in solitude. Like when I'm alone, I really do better. Like I find my way better. I think faster. So it's it was an important thing for me to do. Initially, I wanted to go like far out of the, 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 the country. I was thinking like, something like philippines or something and everybody around me was like no <laughs> you're not ready for that and i guess i agree because solo traveling is not something you just 
get up and do you know you need to research plan think hard and long about it um and i can definitely say if i'd not been in hong kong and been in another in another country i would have been very stranded see how i didn't have my card and i needed money and whatever so i think hong kong was a safe place to start but i'll definitely be doing more so journeys in future but just before i go i just want to say thank you so much i love you guys so much keep subscribing keep sharing keep telling your friends and join me on the next one and on me.